Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the new uh, REI Flow Forms tool where you can create input forms that you can use anywhere. And the cool thing is you can pull in any field you want from REI Flow to put on this form and then it'll automatically, once filled out, it'll upload or it'll create a new lead in REI Flow and you don't have to do anything else. So, I mean, it's this actually turned out better than I thought it would. It's easier to use than I thought I, I could come up with. So I'm very excited about it. So let me jump in and show you. So in REI Flow, the issue with the Podio forms for an app are that you can't really pick information from apps that are further down, like property details, which you normally would want to include in a call sheet. So then you'd have to come into REI flow and enter it in manually or give access to someone who you don't want to give access to to do it. Now with the REI flow forms tool, you can create a form that includes any field from any app. Let me show you how. So we go to REI forms, we click new form, give it a name, my new form. Now we select the fields. We want to take, say, the property, address from the properties app, add that. Now we want to get some contact information, the first name, last name, and phone number. First name, last name, phone number. Now also we want to add some property details information to this form, like the bedrooms, bathrooms and construction type. So here are the fields that are going to show up on our form. Now the trick here is we create the app here. So what this means is it's creating an app in REI flow based on this form, based on this these fields that you picked out. And now it also creates a form based on that app. So if we go to REI Flow in Podio and refresh this so we can see, click here, now you see My New Form. And if we add an item, these are all the fields that we selected here. Now the cool part about this is I also created the web form for you automatically. So we just click View Form this is the form. So let's add a property. Fill this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bedrooms are two. As you can see, these fields are the Podio fields. This this form comes from Podio. You can see by the address, the web form. Type of construction, say we'll brick, and now we'll add the lead. So what this does, by adding this lead, it adds this lead to the new app that I created, the web form, the my new form app. What it also does is I have hooked into that form, and when a new item gets added there, I pull that and create the REI flow lead from that form information. So it happens automatically. So let's go back to Podio. We'll leave this. And if we refresh this real quick, this is the, the form. This is my new form form. So here is the, the lead I just entered in. Now check the REI flow leads app and you can see 64 Cooper Road, Don Johnson created the property record, it created the contacts record. Additionally, it created the details record with the two beds and two baths. And you can see I still have uh, some things to work on a little bit here, like the, uh, the Zillow information getting pulled in and the Bing map getting created, but I'll figure that out shortly after this video. But I just wanted to give you an idea on how this all worked. Now say if you 
decide you want to add some more information to the field to the form I mean so we go back here to the form editor and let's say we want to add a question like uh, is there a mortgage on the house and why are you selling so we can do that recreate the app view the form again and now you'll see at the bottom here we have those two additional fields it's pretty nice right so there you have it you can add multiple fields multiple forms too like I have another form called new lead which I think I'm going to add as a generic form for everybody who has REI flow just to get them started out and click edit on there and we can see this information right here now what's cool also is you can reorder the form say you want to bring the address field down to after the contact information because you usually get the contact information first and the property information you can recreate this app and view the form now we have the name contact first the address and now the property information after that now to me it's, it's a very handy tool very flexible you can create any kind of form you want and uh, if you have any questions or comments suggestions I'd love to hear them and uh, this should be available probably next week after I get some stuff straightened out Thank you.